getting some free mall charging in on Easter. Today's Easter. That's why the mall is so empty. A little do and walk. Now it's Easter. Someone's selling Easter baskets from their car. I respect the hustle. The reason I'm charging up the car just a little bit more is because I'm finally going to go see Dune 2. But in a really big Science Center IMAX. Wait. I'm talking the nicest screen possible. This thing is like six or seven stories high. That's how big the screen is. They have an IMAX over at this movie theater behind me, but it's like a LIMAX, it's not real. I look it up online and there's like an IMAX website where you can see the size of the screen and like all that stuff. And this, they call this LIMAX. Okay, this ain't real. Fifteen dollars. I thought I would be the first one here. There's already some people in line. movie doesn't start for another hour. Ooh. Oh, there's some doing it happening right now. I can hear it. Whoa. I am so unbelievably hyped for this movie. The spice its flowing through my veins right now. My eyes should be blue. Okay? I'm out of breath. I'm so excited. I have Amanda waiting in line for me. Now, I would really like to come back to this museum. It's closed now. It literally just closed a little bit ago. I'm surprised that there's actually people here in front of us in line, okay? I thought for sure Amanda and I would be the first ones here. But nope, there's some dune freaks out there who got here before us, okay? You have to get here early to this theater, okay? Because it is a huge screen. And if you don't sit in a good spot, you're gonna be looking up Timmy's uh, nostrils and it's not a good view. And it's first come first serve, right? There ain't no assigned seats. You just gotta get in there old school style and you gotta race to find a good spot. This is a piece of someone's car. Oh boy, look at this thing. I'm eating some of my candy before, before the movie. It's about 6.20 now. I'm gonna go back inside. I have my headphones, so I'm gonna listen to some music. Get a little recap of Dune. Gotta remember what I'm getting myself into. It's filling up, it's filling up fast. Dune heads are here in full force tonight. What a ride. That film was incredible. Just wow. Listen again! Late breaking, groundbreaking, earth shattering Disney Park news. For those in their third or fourth watch through of the hit show Succession, and you're, you're really into 
boardroom shareholder things. There was a Disney shareholder meeting that took place where Nelson uh, Peltz, an activist investor, tried to worm his way onto the Disney board by uh, making a proxy war. Okay, so for that, let's, let's back up a little bit. I had to do some research. I had to do some Googling, google.com. Nelson Peltz, he's an activist investor, and I'm thinking, oh, activist investor, right? That maybe he's trying to get onto the Disney board to uh, make some changes within the company that benefits employees, you know, get people to pay more money, you know, get employees of the company to have better benefits and pay. Oh, no, 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 no. So what exactly is an activist investor? Shareholder tries to put stakes on uh, management when they are dissatisfied with the company's performance. So Nelson Peltz's biggest gripe was Disney Plus wasn't making any money, that's true. And it Disney was going into a go woke, go broke type of phase, which I freaking cringe every time I hear that. It's the dumbest thing you could say, the dumbest thing. Go woke, go broke. That's not what woke means, you old stupid white bag of crap. God, they just irritate me so much. Nelson, by the way, Nelson. Nelson has no experience in entertainment. He's a shareholder on like Wendy's, uh, Madison Square Garden Company. Mind you, all of these companies are underperforming in a lot of areas, so. And it's not like Nelson is doing a very good job of being a shareholder at anything. Here's a quote here. People go to watch a movie or a show to be entertained. They don't want to get a message. Yeah, I know, because all these movies and TV shows just don't have messages whatsoever. Even Star Wars, okay, was about like imperialism and fighting fascism. Here's an actual quote from George Lucas explaining Star Wars. So it was a very anti-authoritarian, very kind of 60s against the man kind of thing nested or, deep inside of or, a, a fantasy. Or a colonial, you know, we're fighting the largest empire in the world. Right. And we're just a bunch of hayseeds in coonskin hats that don't right. know nothing. That's right. And it was the same thing with the Vietnamese. Yep. The irony of that one is in in both of those, the little the little guys won. Idiot. You idiot! You little idiots! Idiots! Why do I have a Marvel that's all women? Not that I have anything against women. Kinda sounds like you do, Nelson, okay? Kinda sounds like you do. Why can't I have a Marvels that are both? Why can't I have Marvels that are both? I, I love that he just refers to Marvel movies, the MCU as Marvels. Idiot. Why do I need an all black cast? Well, there it is right there. There it is right there. We know who you are, Nelson. Sounds like you don't like certain uh, people. You don't want to see them. You especially don't want movies about them. Just, that's what it sounds like to me. So yeah, this whole platform was restore the magic. Oh my God, just the cringiest stuff. I, I can't even with this guy. I, I mean, he lost, like he did not win. He did not get a, uh, a seat on the board. Hey Nelson, do be better at your job. How about that? Next time, uh, be better. Freaking idiot. Idiots! Stop, stop, stop. Sandwiches, idiots! Idiots! Yeah. Jesus. And uh, old, old Bobby Iger took a victory lap. Can't believe I'm rooting for that bag of crap as well. What, a, there's a, I, okay, and also, in the shareholder meeting, also, Avatar Land, in Disneyland. Don't know much about it, here's a picture. Looks cool. Don't know what it's gonna really look like in the end, but they got Avatar seals. I didn't know avatars had seals, but they do now. Avatar seal, right there, that's pretty cool, right? Shareholder stuff, you know, do, do, do. Rich keep getting richer. That wasn't you know? fun, it's not fun, it's, it's not, not fun. fun. I'll, I'll tell you what, dude. There's a raccoon at uh, Hershey Park and attacked people. Wild, wild stuff. Look at that raccoon. The poor guy, he's, he's confused, he's scared. All these people are screaming. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know where he's going. Help him out. <laughs> Tries to steal a little girl's shoe. He got confused. He doesn't understand. Help the raccoon out. Okay, you screaming is clearly not helping things. Just everyone take a breath. Take a, calm down. Just a raccoon, okay? Slow down. Slow down. 
You shoo them away. Be like, no, 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 no. Raccoon go over there. That was the biggest news in, in my opinion. Oh, and the Tiana thing, the Tiana uh, audio animatronic, the talkie robots, they look so freaking cool. I hadn't seen Princess and the Frog up until pretty recently. And like, I thought it was great. I really liked it. The little Firefly, he died, really got me upset. I would have cried had there been a soul to break, but I didn't, so. I mean, but I did feel something for the little Firefly that died. This ride is looking awesome. Look at the, look at that robot. Look at the crocodile. Crocodile or alligator, I don't know what he is. He's playing a trumpet or a trombone. I, which one is it? Is it a trumpet or a trombone? It looks good though. I mean, they look amazing. They look like so smooth and like, got like a nice flow to it. The mama character, I don't remember her name. That, look, that thing looks awesome. And of course, Tiana, awesome. Look at that. Moving around, like flowing with it, you know? She looks gorgeous. I mean, these robots, these talkie robots, it's incredible what they're doing. I, I hope they take these talkie robots and put them into the Frozen ride. The screen faces, no, no, looks stupid, okay? Give me a robot face with that Elsa and the Anna, Anna, sorry, Anna, and the other guy. Give me that ride. I got a little uh, peek at the construction of it when I was at Magic Kingdom. I thought it looked awesome. Look at this. Then you got robots that are moving around like this and stuff, like flowing with it. You know, that's the robot that I like. Frickin' Nelson Peltz, just your rich old billionaire. I'm glad you lost. I'm so glad, you, I hope you just lose at everything. You freaking loser. That's the problem with these rich old white dudes. They just keep like failing upwards. Just get rid of them. Why are you still around? Why are you still here? Take a guess who we voted for. Just take a guess. You know who. You know who. Nelson. Nelson Peltz, you freaking idiot. Savage. Idiot. Idiot! Savage is idiot! Idiot! Yeah. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Man. Calm down.